welcome to church tonight. If you would stand with us as we enter back into worship, or enter into, not back into, but worship tonight. Let's say a word of prayer. Father, say we welcome of prayer. Father, we welcome you to this place. And Father, we ask you to Father, we ask you to move here. Father, we ask you to speak. Father, we ask you to speak. Lord, we ask you, God, Lord, we ask you, God, your voice to be loud in this place. Lord, we ask you that tonight we ask you that tonight we would encounter power in the presence of your Holy Spirit. Father, minister to us tonight. God, do a work in our hearts. God, do a work in our hearts. God, give us a heart of worship. God, give us a heart of worship and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, <laughs> 
It's a reminder to us really what we've been studying in the last five weeks on the Book of Esther that the story is never over. The Lord will have the final say. The story is never over. The story is never over. The Lord will have the final say. The will have the final say. And uh, sometimes we and, uh, can get stuck in the middle of it and forget His faithfulness. faithfulness. The Book of Esther and really the resurrection really the resurrection and crucifixion of Jesus and His resurrection reminds us that He sees what we don't. He sees what we don't. So tonight as we sing this song, as we sing this song, I just want you to. Whatever you're going through, 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 wh
Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you tonight. Father, we ask you tonight. Father, we ask you tonight. God, give us a heart of worship. God, give us a heart. God, give us a heart that says, God, have your way in us. God, however you want to change us, God, change us. Change us. God, change us. However you want to mold us, however you want to mold us, God, mold us. God, we ask you tonight. We ask you tonight, God, to do a fresh work in our hearts. God, we ask you to transform us into the image of the image of Christ Jesus. God, if there be anything in us anything in us that's not of you, we ask you to take it. We ask you to take it. Father, we ask you tonight. Father, we ask you tonight, God, to touch us with the Holy Spirit. God, to strengthen and renew your people tonight. God, give us strength. God, give us strength. Pressing to keep pressing forward. Keep stepping into your will for our lives. So we ask you tonight. So we ask you tonight. Move in the Spirit. Move in this place. And touch us in Jesus. And touch us in Jesus. And touch us in Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You can be seated. You can be seated tonight. As the youth, as the youth tonight, turn and check tonight. Turn and check somebody's hand and tell them you guys. Somebody check somebody's hand. Somebody check somebody's hand. Can't they back? Can't they back? Don't put that on me. Don't put that on me. I can't bear the love. I can't bear the love. <laughs> James chapter James three. James chapter 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 three. Verse thirteen. Where we will begin. Where we will begin. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you this evening, evening about godly decision about godly making. decision making. And and the way that we are called as that believers, we are called to, live as our believers to live our lives. And, uh, so I want to deal with and, uh, a few so things there. A few things there. James is James uh, writing is the church. Writing and, the church, um, and um, he is. He dealing is with dealing quite with a number of issues. Quite a number of issues. One of the things that he is dealing with, one of the things that he is dealing with, people who profess Christian, who profess faith, but Christian don't faith, like but don't live like it. And so one of the central so themes of the book of James, of the book of James is, is faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. So James says that so if, James you, says are that if you are claiming to be regenerated, if you are claiming if you are claiming Christian faith, if you are claiming that you have surrendered and given your life to Jesus, then there is fruit. there is fruit that is produced as that is produced as a, as a consequence of that decision of faith. And he says, if you don't says, have fruit, if you don't have fruit then it doesn't matter really what, you, doesn't matter say. Really what you say. Right? If you are, uh, if you if you are uh, you oranges, you then you can tell everybody, in the, tell everybody in the world that you're producing apples. You can identify as an apple tree, but if you produce an orange, you an orange. You an orange. And that's what that's what and he's and trying that's to what, say here. And that's what he's trying to say here. He is leading us to what does godly living, godly living, godly decision making, what does that and look I want like us to it. see that here. I want us to see that here. James, in the book of James, chapter three, verse chapter three, thirteen. Verse 13 says, who is wise? Who is wise? And understanding, among understanding among you. Let him show. Let him show by good conduct, that, good his conduct that his works are done in the meekness of, in the wisdom. Meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy, if you have and bitter envy and self-seeking in your heart, do not boast. Do not and lie boast against the truth. Lie against the truth. This wisdom does not. This wisdom does from not above, descend from but above. Is earthly, but it's earthly, demonic, sensual, demonic. For envy and for self-seeking, and self-seeking exists, exists. Confusion and every confusion evil and thing, every evil are, thing there. are there. But the wisdom that is from the wisdom above, that is from above. Is first pure. Is first pure. Then peaceable. Then gentle, peaceable. Willing gentle, to yield. Willing to full yield. Full of mercy. Full of mercy. And good fruit. And good fruit. Without partiality. Without, and without partiality. Hypocrisy. And without hypocrisy. Now the fruit of now righteousness. the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace. Is sown in peace. By those, by those who, make, who make peace. Godly. Godly decision making. Decision making. 
He begins here, he begins verse, here 13, who verse 13, who is wise and understanding among you? One of the things that, uh, one of the things that uh, has gone on uh, has since, gone I guess, on the beginning, since, I guess, of, the beginning church, of the church, and, and certainly the church and, and that James, church is, writing James to, is writing to, is there is a core is there group, is of, people a core group church, of people in the church who have... Uh, prided themselves, prided in, their themselves in their tremendous wisdom. There's a sort of arrogance, a sort that, they of arrogance they that they carry, that they, that they believe that they have arrived, they believe that they know better, they than, everyone they know better than everyone else, uh, they carry themselves, uh, they, carry themselves. Uh, they think that they, think have, that achieved, they have, have achieved a sort achieved, of higher, sort of status, higher of people, status than other people, and so James is constantly writing to correct them, and here he is, he is correcting them, he is correcting them by answering the question, who is wise, and understanding I want, I want to give you some definitions and really just kind of and really just tonight, kind of I'm going to break tonight, apart a lot, a lot of different words and my intention is to really teach, 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 really teach, teach, teach us tonight about us what it means, means to live godly, 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 godly. Those who are wise, those who are wise, wise this is what wisdom is, are those who are wise. Those who have understanding and know how to apply that understanding. So when you hear the word so wisdom, you hear the in, word scripture, wisdom in scripture, wisdom, the, the, wisdom, the Hebrew the, word, the, the, the Hebrew word Greek, going into the Greek, you actually begin to look at the Greek at the Greek dictionaries and the dictionaries of those, dictionaries of those, of those words used, and how they are those used. Who have godly those who have godly wisdom, wisdom are those who have understanding, those who have understanding about, the things, about the things of God. And then they know how to and apply, they know how to the, apply principles the principles of the word of God. So you ever talk to somebody and you're dealing with a situation and you're walking through something and they share insights they have a perspective, a perspective that, that, just, has so, that just, it is just has so it is just with rich wisdom with and wisdom and godliness and the way that they view the situation and the way that they see things, things, things is with such tremendous, such tremendous perspective. perspective. And we, we hear those people and we, we, and we hear say, those that people person has, that a person has a lot of wisdom. wisdom. It's because of wisdom. It's because number one, they have understanding. In other words, they know the principles that the Bible teaches. They have a knowledge of what the Scripture says. But the wisdom goes, but the beyond, wisdom just goes beyond just an understanding of what the Scripture says. Wisdom moves to they understand, they understand what Scripture, what scripture says, says, and then they know how, to, they apply and then they know how to apply it. And the challenge of, and the of challenge living, of, of in, living in, 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 the, in a that world is that is filled with anti-Christian anti ideas. ideas. The problem with living, the problem in, a with living in a world that is constantly us pulling us is that we have to, be, that able we to, have to be able to discern what is wolf, what is in, sheep's wolf clothing, in sheep's clothing, what is false, what is, what is, false, uh, what is uh, what uh, kept uh, by the enemy and in secretly works his way into our lives that is against the things of God, and what is pure, what is right, what is what is real godly. and what is godly. And so he says, who is so that, says, that, who has is that, that has this wisdom, this wisdom and understanding, and understanding among you? In other words, among who, you? Are those those who are those who understand, who understand proper teaching, proper doctrine, proper foundational biblical teaching, and then are able to apply those principles, apply those principles in, in their life. Their life. Now, now, this is why. This is why it is important for it us. It is important for us to study the scriptures. To study the scriptures and to know what they say. To know what they say. Do not be transformed. Do not be do transformed. Not be to this do not be world, to this world. Be transformed. Be transformed by the renewing, by the renewing of, your of your mind. How is my mind? How renewed? is my mind my renewed? Faith is my faith is continually set on Christ. My proper object of faith is there. Object of faith I study is the words that study the Christ, Christ has given Christ us. Has given to study us. why. To study why. Because Second Timothy says that we may be a worker of proof. That we may rightly divide, may rightly the, divide word the word so that we can live so that we and can understand, live what, God and understand what God wants and then live according to that. We have to know what the Bible says. We have to know what the Bible says. And then we have to filter and then we have to everything, filter that, happens everything world, that happens in our world of Scripture. So he says, of who is wise? So he says, who is wise? Understanding among you. Understanding among Let him show, let him show by, good conduct, by good, good conduct that his works are in done in the, the meekness of wisdom. So James says, so if, James you really says if you wisdom, really have wisdom, demonstrate that, demonstrate through, righteous that through righteous living. Now we understand tonight, now we, we can understand never, earn, we can the never earn the righteousness of God. 
I think we've preached on that pretty extensively. That that when we come before the Father, when we, come before we Father, never come, we never come boastful or arrogant about, or about the good that we have done, good that we have done, or we never bring to the we Father, to our, the church Father attendance our church attendance, or, 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 or this or that, or this or that. I've often heard of, you know, my grandmother, you know, my grandmother, meaning well, she would often every time something every time good or she did something good, she did something good, but always say that was a good deed. And if we're not careful, we sort, of, careful, we sort of hit that mentality about I've done my good deed, I've therefore, I've done I deed, therefore I can come before the Father. And, uh, the Father. and, and, uh, and so we just have, we know so that we, just can't have, we, know we can't earn righteousness uh, before the Father. Uh, before the but Father. part of being but a new creation is, is, new that, we is that we live out our salvation. I wrote down this question I wrote down this here. If we look just like the world, what exactly have we been saved from? And so if we come into the church, so if we come and we say, into the I've church and we say, saved, I've been saved, I've, been, I've, been, I've been, given my life to Christ, but everything in our life but looks, our like, the looks like, like the same people in the world. We watch the same things, we watch the the people same things watch. that the people in the world watch. We listen to the same music that the people in the world listen to. We drink the same things that they do. We do all the same stuff that people in the world do. We talk the same language. We make the same language. If we do all of the same stuff that the world does, then we come into the church and talk about about being what have we been saved what from? Been saved from? Because Christ has because set Christ us free, from the, us free from, from the bondage and power of sin. He has sin. saved he us from sin. sin. And James says, and don't, James come says don't come up in here talking I'm about wise, I'm wise and I have understanding, and I have understanding of things without, without, a, righteous without a righteous life, life that backs up that, that, backs faith up, up, that his faith is real to you. Let him show by Let him good, show conduct, by good him conduct, demonstrate, by, demonstrate righteous living, by righteous living, that his works are done, his works are listen, done. To this, listen to in this, the meekness in the meekness of wisdom. Of wisdom. Listen to this word meekness. Listen to this word meekness. Meekness is meekness the is quality of not, quality being, overly of not being overly impressed by a sense of one's self, one self importance. The quality of not being overly impressed by a sense of one's self importance. So he 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 lays so out he, here. Okay. He lays out here. Okay. One of the problems. One of the problems in the church that James is writing that James to is that they value, the rich, that they value rich, people people people. rich people over poor people. You go back to James. You go back to James. Right before he starts talking about works, go back to James chapter one. He says it's a shame that there's there is partiality shown among you. Because when a rich man comes in, rich man comes in, and you see that he's wearing things of gold, he's got on gold rings, he's wearing all the jewels. Then you welcome him. You give him the seat of honor. But when a poor man comes in, you let him sit on the floor. You are treating people. You are treating people different. And James is going to condemn them. He's going to say, "Listen." He's going to say, "Listen." This is the context where he says, says faith without works is dead. In other words, you cannot claim faith in Christ Jesus and, Christ and, someone and treat someone different because they're rich or poor. And so he says, don't and come so in so he here says, don't claiming come wisdom, 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 wisdom has meekness about, about it. It, it doesn't value this, this person, person over that person, but it's not it is not being overly impressed by a sense of one's Self. So in other words, James so in other words, James deals with self righteous self righteous attitude that can so quickly take root in our hearts. I've told you before. I've told you before. I battle the self righteous spirit. I battle the self righteous spirit at Walmart. I walk up in Walmart. I walk up in Walmart and I just think, think oh, my God, oh, these people want to know about some it. people the way they some dress. The way they dress the, the, well, I shouldn't say the way they well, dress. Well, I shouldn't the say the way they dress. It's the way they don't dress. It's how everything's hanging it's how out. Everything's there. hanging it's out just, there. It just, it just, it I, just feel I feel a self righteous spirit come up in me. But we have to be careful. We have to be careful. I say it joking. I say it joking. But really, I have to be careful. I have to be careful because I can't walk in real wisdom. I cannot walk in boastful and arrogant because I would rather look at somebody else and condemn them or judge them in my heart because they're not where I am. Meekness is gentleness. Meekness is gentleness. It's humility. Consider it. One of the ways that we live our Christianity is we walk is we walk humility. in humility. The scriptures say, don't let anyone suppose that he is more than he ought to think of himself. 
So who is wise and understanding? Who is wise and understanding? Not those who know the most. Not those who can boast over others. Boast over others. They understand more things. It's those who live the righteous life. They live the righteous life. They understand more things. It's those who live the righteous life. They 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 Bitter is something that's Bitter been ruined. Something it's, that's a word been ruined. Of, it's a word that was often about, used about fruit, used about fruit um, that had taken on a bad that had taken taste. On a bad taste. Um, it had become bitter. Um, it had, it had lost bitter. its flavor. It had, lost its it, had, flavor. It, had really it, had, it had really gone um, rotten. Um, here's what's interesting. So here's he uses the word bitter, so here, the word bitter um, here. Um, but if you have bitter, which is it's bitter, gone rotten, which is it's gone so he puts bitter so right, puts in bitter of right in front of the word that is actually ambition. So it's the ambition so it's of the in, in Greek when you study it, in, in so, put you study it so put together, the translators translate this, translate this uh, as envy or, as envy jealousy, or but jealousy, but it's actually, but it's ambition, actually that has ambition that has gone wrong. It's very interesting. It's very so interesting. And so one of the things that it teaches us is when ambition goes wrong, it can wrong, very quickly, it can turn, very into quickly into turn into envy or jealousy. Ambition is the ambition constant, is the desire, constant to desire to want more. Listen, this is something uh, listen, I struggle with. Listen, this is with. something I struggle with. Because when I started pastoring, when I, started I pastoring, wanted, as, I big as, wanted it, as big as it could get I, it. You know, I, 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 had, I had such large ambition. Large and, and ambition. I and, and I there's a difference between, there's a a difference that between a vision given, that God has given and a burden that God has given and an ambition, and an ambition, and an ambition that is fueled by pride, that is fueled by ego, that is fueled by wanting to be recognized. And so what I had is I had conflated the two. I had ambition. I wanted, I, wanted big, I wanted to be big, I wanted to be recognized, I wanted the big ministry and the craft of the best sermons, I wanted all of that but stuff, I did not but I did not that. come out and say that, that. I hid it under a burden for the Lord, I'm doing this for the Lord. If you have bitter, if you have bitter envy, if you have envy, if you ambition, have ambition that, has gone wrong, that has gone wrong, James is going to talk about in James his book, is going to talk that, there about his book that there are many who desire to make themselves rich, make themselves rich and because of it they fall because away. Of it, they no, fall that's away. actually Paul. No, that's that actually Paul. Is that not in the book of James? What is it? It is. What is it? It is ambition. Ambition. I've got to climb the top of the ladder. I've got to get as high as I can. I've got to get as high as I can. I've got to make the most of my money. I've got to get this ambition that so easily gets to my heart. This constant. We need more. 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 And the scripture says that. The scripture says that that is not godly. That is not godly. If you have bitter envy, if you have so bitter if this ambition, ambition has gone wrong in your heart, now you not only desire more and more, 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 but now you begin to have hardness in your heart toward those, those who have it. I've lived it. This is I've a hard one for me. I sat there and I have my computer. I have uh, my I computer. I usually that's kind of what I study. And I'll have the even I'll have the New Testament. I'll have the New Testament. I'll typically have one panel with panel with English and the next panel with Greek. And kind of look at the two. Kind of look at the two. This one hit me hard. This one hit me hard. Because let me tell you what I do. Because let me tell you what I do inside of me. Inside of me. It's so easy for me. It's so when easy for me when I see a church, really a church that's really got it going on. You know, a church where it's just you know, a church where it's just they're packed out. And they're packed everything out. They do, their everything music they do. Is their music awesome, is awesome, and they've awesome, got and they've community got in a church. Community in a church. Saved. And people are getting Isn't it saved. crazy? We're all, the crazy. Same We're all on the same team. We're, it's, it's not about any it's, of us. It's not about any of us. The goal of the kingdom the goal of God, of God the kingdom is to die and be forgotten. Not to remember me. Not to remember Jesus. But isn't it funny? I see that. But isn't it funny? I see that. And the first thing I start doing, I'm gonna find something that they're doing wrong. So I can sit here in my chair and criticize. Now the reason they have it that way is because this is so easy. It's so easy. And I figure it out. No, the real issue is not that they're doing all this stuff wrong. The real issue is they have what I want. The real issue is they have what I want. The real issue is they have what I want. The real issue is they have what I want. They have the sounds and everything. The they have the building. They, 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 they have the building. And then I'm the mad about it. And then I'm mad about it. And I start getting bitter. And then I start falling. And, 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 and it's not celebrating them. It's not celebrating them. It's rejoicing them. It's rejoicing because, because, people, are saying, because saying, people are being saved. Because people are being saved. What they're doing. What they're doing. I struggle with this bitter envy. I struggle with ambition. And so I criticize those who have what I want. I got to find something wrong. Did you notice the word? Did you notice the word bitter? 
you steward, if you steward an envious heart, an envious enough, heart long enough, you will become bitter. You will become bitter. You, you're not going to taste like. You, what you're not going to taste like what you used to taste. Something like. in you when it went Something in you when it went bitter. Something inside of that fruit Something goes wrong. Something inside of that fruit goes wrong. It's not what it used to be. It's not what it used to be. And when you harbor, you don't deal with these things. You don't deal with these things. You don't bring them before the Lord. And ask God to change. God to change. God to take this out of my heart. You will become bitter. You will become bitter. The fruit is going to change its flavor. But if you have bitter, but if you have bitter, if you listen to this and self Oh, let me go back. Let me back. Oh, let me go back. Let me back. This is a good opportunity. This is a good opportunity. I think to talk about a couple of kingdom principles that keep us from bitter and envy, which is ambition gone wrong, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, and a failure to live in contentment. And a failure to live in contentment. I love Hebrews chapter thirteen. I love Hebrews chapter thirteen. Verse eight. Every one of us has heard the scripture. He'll never leave us. He'll never leave us. Don't forsake us. But the verse right before that, we often don't pay attention to. Hebrews chapter thirteen. Verse eight. Hebrews chapter thirteen. Verse eight. Actually, keep yourselves free from the love of money. Keep yourselves free from the love of money. But be content with what you have. For he has said, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." Hebrews chapter thirteen. Verse eight. Actually, keep yourselves free from the love of money. Keep yourselves free from the love of money. But be content with what you have. For he has said, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." Hebrews chapter thirteen. Verse eight. Actually, keep yourselves free from the love of money. Keep yourselves free from the love of money. But be content with what you have. For he has said, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." Hebrews chapter thirteen. Verse eight. Actually, keep yourselves and it's about don't live, it's your, about life don't live your life in a constant state of not understanding we have instant meat. Sometimes, 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 sometimes things get tight. Right now is really the economy right now is really bad. I'm not preaching against, you know, having concern about taking care of your family and those sort of things. I'm talking about this thing that so easily gets in our heart where we ignore the fact that we have more is never enough. But I'm talking about this thing that so easily gets in our heart where we ignore the fact that we have more is never enough. More is never enough. You get a look. If I just had this amount, and you just had this amount, amount, then you get that amount. Guess what? It's still like we live in this state. We live in this state where we're never content. Means I'm full. Means I'm happy. Means I'm full. Means I'm full. Means that I'm I'm over God. Notice what he says in Hebrews. Notice what he says in Hebrews. Keep yourselves free from the love of money, but be content. Why can you be full? Why can you be full? No matter what you have. Because he has said, I'm never leaving you. So it's just understanding. So it's just understanding. I'm not going to live my life chasing things that don't matter. Position, status, power. Instead, I'm going to live my life resting in the fullness of who Christ is. He'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. I have Jesus. What more could I want? Philippians chapter four. Philippians chapter four. All says I have learned whatever state I'm in. Whatever state I'm in, be content. Whether I am full or whether, whether I'm I'm full or whether I'm in need, I know what it is to be hungry. I know what it is to be hungry. I know what it is to be fed. I know what it is to be fed. I know what it is to be clothed. I know what it is to be unclothed. But I have learned the secret. But I have learned the secret of all things. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I think the enemy has had a field day. I think the enemy has had a field day in our churches because we don't preach. Because we don't preach content. Too many Christians. Too many Christians. We are driven, we are by, driven ambition, by ambition. driven. We are driven by envy. We are driven by, 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 are driven driven by, driven by self-seeking, desires, self-seeking desires, rather than learning, rather than to, be learning to be content in Christ, in Christ to find rest, to find and, rest joy and, and joy in Him. Too many in him. Christians turn God into a beginning machine who gives us our dreams and gives us the things that we want. If you have bitter envy, you have bitter and envy, self-seeking, and self-seeking, in your self-seeking is living self-seeking for myself. Living Notice for the myself. location of Notice both of these. They're in your heart. They're, they're in your innermost being. being. So in other words, he's saying. Yeah. So in other words, he's saying. This like, is not the stuff everybody's just going to see on the outside. Do you know what I learned about a lot of Christians? You know what I learned about a lot of Christians? Full of baloney. Full of baloney. You. We, well, we know how to give we, church well, we answers. We know how to give church answers. We know how to say the right, we know how to say the right we know how to things. Give, well, we know how to you give. give well, you give. I was uh, on a meeting was, uh, the other day. I was on a meeting the other day. Uh, with uh, Asher's uh, much older. Asher's much and older. And he said, you know, one of the things you have to learn in ministry is you can learn how to justify anything if you just give us a few minutes to talk. And I thought, man, that is so true. Christians, we will find a way to theological, you know, what's that game? You've got to hit this circle over here. You've got to hit this circle over here. You've got to hit this circle over here. Circle well, over here and skirt we'll around everything. Skirt around we'll everything, find and we'll find a way to justify what we want to do, and make it in the eyes of God. Make it in the eyes of God. But here's the thing, he says, but you can fool everybody in the world, but if in your heart, in your innermost, in your innermost being, you can justify what you're doing and what you're doing and fool everybody, but if in your heart there's bitterness and there's self-seeking, and the reason you're really doing it is for you. 
If your core, if motivation, your core motivation is self-seeking, is self-seeking he says, do not boast, he says, do and, not lie boast against and lie truth. against the truth. He asks us the question, why do, the we, question, really why do, do we really what do, do what we do? Not what's the what do we tell what's everybody the, else? We tell everybody else. Why do we really why do, do we really do what we do? What we do. So how do I make godly decisions? So how do I make godly decisions? I have to check my heart, my heart from my motives. Am I doing things to keep up with other people, up with and, other people and to impress them? Am I doing things that Am aren't, doing the, right things that aren't the right but decision, but they serve me? We have to be reminded have that, to be the reminded of the that the model life of the Christian life is to live a crucified, to live a crucified life. life. He goes on, so he he's goes on, telling so he's us, telling us, we have us, this bitter, we bitter envy, we have this bitter envy for and self-seeking things. Do not boast and lie. Do not boast and lie. In other words, God knows our hearts. Don't play a game with God. Don't play a game with God. Verse fifteen. This wisdom. This wisdom. So this way of living. So this way that of views living the world that views the world through selfish ambition, through selfish ambition and all of this, does not come this, from above. Does not come from above. But listen, that is it is according that is, to the power, is the power of the world around us. Of the world that is around us. That is not renewed in the image of God. The broken, fallen man in this sinful state. The world. It is earthly. It is sensual. Which is the flesh. My own flesh. It is coming from the fruit it is of my the flesh. Fruit of my that flesh is, um, that still is struggling, um, still to, be struggling to be submitted to the will of God. To the will of God. And it is, he says, and it even is, stronger, he says, it is stronger. It is demonic. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? So when the things so when that happen, the things in, that our happen in our are lives are motivated by selfish by ambition, by envy and jealousy, and by self-seeking, self James says that James it's says demonic. That that's powerful. In other That's words, powerful. In other that this words, is, that the, this powers is the powers that of darkness that are working, not to possess us and force, force us to do things we don't want to do. Because if you are born again and watch the blood, you're not possessed, you're possessed by a demon. What fellowship does light have with the darkness? But that is such a shallow that view of the cross of the power and the power of the blood in our life. But you can be influenced from the outside, as Satan tries to draw us away, to draw us away, away and whisper in our ears, and lead us into lies, and lies, and lies, and lies, and lies and falsehood, and other things. Falsehood and other things. This wisdom is not this wisdom is from God. It's not from God. God. It's not from 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 God. It's not Confusion, and Confusion every, evil every evil thing are there. Are there? If I live in confusion, if I live in confusion, my heart is torn between, 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 between obedience and disobedience. I remember. Uh, I remember uh, when I graduated college. When I graduated it was college, a rough time in my life. Rough time in my life uh, because uh, I was because expecting. I was expecting opportunities to show opportunities up. Opportunities to show I just, up. I just I had invested I had so much invested in, so in, much in, in education, in, in education and in my mind, it was, my mind, it was just going to get out of college and everything get out was going to be college, great. And then I got out of college and there was, was, no was, no was, was, was nothing. It was brutal. It was brutal. And I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I thought that I was going to come out of the world. I had been offered to pastor a little, offered to pastor little, little, church, little, little, little church in, uh, in Clarksville. They had asked Clarksville. me. They had asked me. They're between uh, guys. They're between and guys. They're about, about six weeks. And they had asked me. And they had asked me. And I remember I just. And I remember I just. This was my. Mo now there was only about three people in the church. Three people in the church on an average Sunday or something. This was my moment. Pastor. Pastor. Kate. Rich. And I remember I was praying. And I remember I was praying. And the Lord just kept laying on my heart. No. 
And I was in turmoil. I was in turmoil. Here's what I had to do. I realized that. I kept saying, God, I need a word. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Here's what I realized. I really knew all along what I needed to do. I really knew all along what I needed to do. I knew that I needed to go this way. I knew that I needed to go this way. I didn't want to admit it. Because I wanted to be the man. I wanted to be the man. So God had actually, it took weeks and weeks. And God dealt with me. No, you're not supposed to go there. So I went back to my home church and sat and did nothing for almost a year. And it was horrible. And I said, God, I don't know what you're saying. 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 I hated it. What am I telling you here? I'm, I'm telling, telling you this. Here. Sometimes, telling you this. Sometimes we're, confused we're confused and we need clarity. We need clarity. But really the issue but really isn't that the God issue won't isn't speak. That God and, and sometimes we just and have to wait, 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 wait and listen to the voice of God. God. This, this is not a blanket this statement, not a blanket for, every statement for every situation. Not at all. Sometimes, not at all. sometimes you just don't know what to do. you got to wait and God's going to show you the answer. Sometimes things are out of your control. Sometimes things are out of your control. So don't hear me saying, if you're confused right now, it must be your fault. No, there's circumstances. Different circumstances. But at the same time, but at the same time, sometimes, sometimes, it's, not sometimes it's not that we're confused. We are, we are it's that we are, we are struggling with on one side, with, we have envy and selfish and ambition, 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 ambition that's pulling us this way. And on the other side, we have the will of God. And we don't want to admit it except this way. Because, because, in, this way, order because, way, because in order to step this way, we're going to crucify, crucify the bitterness and the ambition and the ambition and the self-seeking interest. For where envy and self-seeking self is, confusion, confusion, and every and evil, and thing, every evil are thing are there. You see it in churches. You see it in churches. When people start getting when jealous of one another, they're doing, doing, what, another, I they're to doing do. what I wanted to do. When people start getting when people self seeking, self seeking, I want this position, I want this position, I want to be elevated, I want to be great. When all of that stuff starts happening in the church, people start getting infatuated with position and title and this and that. When all of that happens, when all of that happens, you have confusion and every evil thing. The enemy has a field day with the church, playing on people's emotions and feelings and playing on the flesh that wants to be gratified and recognized and envy and selfish desires are. Confusion and every evil thing is listen, listen, but, but the wisdom that is from above, from above, so, from above, from above so the wisdom that is from God, gives us seven characteristics, gives us seven so characteristics the wisdom that is from God. Number one is pure. How do I make godly How decisions? How do I make godly decisions? I ask myself, I what, ask is myself what is the root of this decision? Is it self-seeking? Is it self-seeking? Is it ambitious? Is it ambitious? Or is it? Or is it these seven things? Number these one, seven is things. Number is one, it without mixture. Is it without that's mixture. mixture. That's what purity means. There's no mixture. There's no mixture. Means there's no foreign means there's no foreign properties, involved, properties in involved. Without in mixture, without obeying mixture, God, without obeying God, God, without mixture, total sincerity and so the wisdom that God's so the wisdom that God's going to bring into my life is birthed out of total sincerity. And devotion, and devotion to him, number two, to him. Number it's two, peaceable. It's Let peaceable. Me it Let me peace that creates in peace in me, and it creates peace, and it with, creates other peace with other people. The Bible says in Colossians, says in Colossians let the peace of God rule in your, rule in your it's, hearts. It's, it's, like it's the word like an call. umpire makes a call. It's the same thing it's that the before, same thing I, that step before I step forward into something, forward into I don't something, need to step without, I don't the, need to step without the, peace the peace of God. God doesn't the peace of God doesn't mean that I don't, don't have any question marks. Mark. A lot of times I believe that I operate on 90%. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure this is what I need to do. I'm 90% sure Peace within oneself. Peace within oneself. Peace with others. Proper three seventeen. Proper three seventeen. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. This is talking about wisdom. This is talking about wisdom. Personified by which is wisdom. Like her ways are her ways are pleasantness. And all her paths are the way of wisdom. The way of wisdom is a path. Peace. The third thing is gentle. The third thing is gentle. The word gentle is just the word. The word gentle is just the word for humility. It's humble. It's humble. Willing to yield. Willing you know to means? yield. You know what that means? It means it's open. It means it's literally open. It means it's open, literally open, to, means it's open to, reason. to reason. When you get to the place, when you, you get to know the place, than you know better than everybody, and nobody, nobody can speak in your life because they don't have nothing to tell you. You better watch out. Because enemies gonna have a field day with you. Because guess what? You're human. 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 You're human.
It's not wise it's to, not sit wise house to sit on your house or say, can't nothing. nobody tell me nothing. I don't know because I already know. Okay. Know. Okay. Okay. The wisdom is from above. That is not of God. God. It is willing to be healed. Literally in the Greek, it's open to reason. In other words, I'm going to hear you out. I'm going to listen with an honest heart if you're trying to correct me. It is full of mercy. It is full of mercy. This deals with our decisions deals that impact with our decisions others. It's full, full of mercy. It is full of mercy. good it is fruit. In other words, the result, in other words, of, that the result of that wisdom is godliness, things that honor God. And then lastly, he says, without lastly, partiality. Says, without and partiality and the last, without, the last without, without hypocrisy. Without partiality, without partiality means, means he's dealing here he's with dealing this here desire and impulse in the church, 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 church. They have a lot of money. They have a lot of money. They don't want to treat them this way. The wisdom that comes from God, there is none of that. comes from God, there is none of that. It's without hypocrisy. It's without it, is hypocrisy. Honest. it is honest to what it knows to be true. It Verse 18. Verse 18. Now, Verse 18. Now, the fruit of now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace, by, sown those in peace by those who make peace. The harvest, the fruit, the harvest, of, righteousness the fruit of righteousness is they do things is they in do peace. Things they walk in, in peace. peace they walk in the peace of God. And as a result, they receive peace. They Jesus said it like this. Jesus said it like this. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called. They shall be called. The sons of God. And so I want to encourage you. And so I want to encourage this you. This is something I have this come back to this I when I was deciding to, to, this to, come, to, to, to come to this Boston. Boston. This, this is something I, I, I passed the scripture. I sat down and had a time of prayer about, Lord, prayer about Lord, is the reason I'm going is the here, reason I'm going here motivated, because motivated because of self-seeking? Is it motivated because of ambition? Or is it motivated because of ambition? Is my heart pure? Is it without mixture? Am I doing this in obedience to you? Or am I doing this because my flesh is pulling me? When you're making decisions, when you're making in, your decisions life, in your life, you need to run it through, that, it through that filter. Where is my heart? Where be is my with heart? Yourself, be, honest be honest with yourself. Be honest with God. And when we do that, and when we do that, when we operate according when we to this, operate according we to open this, the door. We open the door. For the grace of God and grace of God to fill our decision making. Amen. Father, we thank Amen. you tonight, Father, we Lord, thank you tonight, that you go before us that you and you go make a way. Father, we thank you that you give us wisdom and grace. We thank you that you help us in times of need. We thank you that your grace is sufficient for us tonight. Father, we just ask, Lord, Father, we ask Lord, 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 Lord,